cinnamon rolls. What could be better? Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to roll out and assemble cinnamon rolls. Let's get started. There are a lot of good dough recipes and I'm just going to assume that you already have the dough made. Flour the countertop and your hands. Turn the dough out of the bowl, knead it a few times, and let it rest covered with plastic wrap. The dough only needs to rest for about 10 minutes, so let's mix up the cinnamon filling. We need two tablespoons each of brown and granulated sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. With that, I mixed a tablespoon of melted butter. This time I added the butter to the sugar mixture, but I've also just brushed melted butter onto the dough and then sprinkled on the, the dry sugars and cinnamon. That works too. Time to roll out the dough. I like to pat and pull it into a rectangular shape and then roll it with a rolling pin to about 9 by 18 inches. If you can make nice square corners on your dough, you'll get more uniform size cinnamon rolls. The, the end ones won't be little teeny tiny things that are all puckered up. My handy dandy dough scraper is six inches wide and it has ruler markings on it. I use it to measure the width of my dough and the length of my dough. So that's pretty handy. So this is cinnamon, sugar, brown sugar, and butter. You just chop it up, spread it out over the whole thing. Doesn't look like I'll have enough, but I think I will once I spread it. And then add the raisins. Because it's not cinnamon rolls without raisins. Here's how I roll it. Going along the long way, we fold it up. And then fold a little more. And a little more. See how sweet that is? back in there. Got a little escapey there. This is the only recipe I've ever seen that calls for dental floss. It just makes me happy to cut the dough this way. You can use a knife if you want to, but this is more fun. There we go. This is where the dental floss comes in. Probably didn't need that much, but I was being fancy. Flashy. You slide it underneath and go. I got so excited I forgot to get my pan out for it. Well, I'm going to do a couple more anyway just to show you. Look at this. Line it up with the mark and squeeze. There it is. Line it up. Squeeze. <laughs> it's so fun. I like this pan because it has a lid so I can put these in the freezer. Space them so they aren't touching each other because they're going to rise. You go back. And the last one. Look at that. Now, I can put that in the freezer and with the lid on it and take it out for 
to let it sit overnight and cook it in the morning or I can let it raise right now and cook them uh, when they've raised. You'll know the cinnamon rolls are done raising when they're all touching each other. Here's a shot of them fresh out of the oven. Here's another of them after I have frosted them. You can just use a powdered sugar glaze or if you like sticky gooey ooey gooey cream cheese frosting. Mm -hmm.